Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here. You know, I want to share this with you. And a lot of times people, uh, we overthink it. And we make it a lot harder than it is. But there are little things that go to it that we all have in our own way. But because of our belief system, we don't really pursue it. But I need you to understand that before you were given a university, you were given a gift. Before you were given a high school, you were given a gift. Before there were corporate jobs, you were given a gift. So you have a gift. And when you first identify that gift, and then you start to think about how can you make money from that gift? If you understand the power of one, meaning you take your gift and you share it with one person and you share it with one person at a time, but each person shares your gift with another person. And some people will share your gift with three people. Some people will share your gift with five and some will share it with 10. Before you know it, your gift has multiplied. It has been scaled. Now your gift have been, has been scaled and now you have the opportunity to make a full-time living from your natural gift. The thing that you have to realize when you look around the world and you see what's out there, you will understand that no matter what you are good at, you can make money from it. If you are good at tying shoes, you can make money from it. No matter what you are good at. Some people say, well, I just listen. You can make money from it. Some people say, well, I love to talk. You can make money from it. A life coach is a listener. A radio host, a podcaster is a talker. Well, I like to write. Well, there's people making six, seven figures from blogging or writing books or ghost writing. Whatever you can do, there's a way to earn a living from it. Somebody said, well, I just like to organize rooms in my house. Guess what? You can make a living from that. I like to organize my closet. I like to organize my pantry. You can make a living from that. So this is what I want you to do. Now, I got I got a course on TonyGassonAcademy.com if this is too surface level for you. And it's called Entrepreneurship with Purpose. And I'll put the link in the description. But you don't need that if you just hear me right here. If you take and you identify your gifts, your gifts are the things that you can do that not everybody else can do. And you write down on the side, you write down your gifts. On the other side, you write down your passions. Now, it's a guy who stole this from me and he got a big entrepreneurship podcast and he took my course on Udemy and then stole my little model and put it in his course like it's his, his name, Pat Flynn. And he got a thing called Entrepreneurship on Fire. And he stole it from me. But that's been happening for decades where people be stealing from the brothers. And you write down your gifts. This is stuff you've been praised for, you've been reinforced for. People have said good things about you. They've asked you for this. And then you write down your passions. And then you marry the two. You draw a line, you connect them. And you see, okay, what matches? So if, if a gift is writing and a passion is writing, writing to writing is now they have a baby. You marry it. You marry the gift of writing. You marry the passion of writing. They have a baby. The baby is a book. First child might be a, a, a blog. Baby number one is named blog. Baby number two is named a book. Baby number three is named ghostwriting. A gift is talking. A passion is listening. The gift of talking, the passion of listening, the baby is podcasting. The baby is voiceover. The baby is radio host. The baby is life coaching. You see what I'm saying? So a gift is taste. You just are 
great with flavor and mixing flavor. You know how to make something come together. A passion is cooking. Baby number one is a cookbook with your recipes. Baby number two is your chef. Baby number three is you have a catering company. Baby number four is you have a restaurant. So I want you to start thinking like that. And what I want you to do is take the gift, take the passion, marry them, have a baby, and then introduce that baby to one person. And then introduce that baby to another person and another person and another person. Before you know it, now the baby that you just have, have just had is the most famous baby in your city. And this is what you got to understand. And then it's going to grow up and start to make even more money, make more friends. And now you are able to scale. So, so often, and this is what you have to understand, that the school system has tricked us. Because what the school system is created for, is created by the 1%. So the 1% create a school system because they say, hey, I have this idea, I have this dream. I'm an industrialist. I have something that's going to be needed, but it's also going to make me rich. But I can't do it all myself because this is going to be for millions of people. So we need a school. We need a school to train people how to take orders, how to listen, how to follow instructions, how to show up on time, how to listen to to the teacher, how to take a test. You're regurgitating what you remember to show that you know it. You take the test. So now you've been programmed to be structured, to be prompt, to be a good listener, to be a good doer. You you taking instructions and you following through on, on the instructions. And now you go and you apply for a job and you work for a dreamer who does not do any of those things well. That's where my quote comes from that a lot of people have stolen it and attributed to other people. But the quote says, if you don't build your dream, someone will hire you to help them build theirs. And then some genius took out a couple words and made it sound a little better. But I wrote that as I was pulling up to my dead end job. And it was after that that I tapped into my gifts. And so I'm going to use myself as an example not to for anything other than for you to just hear a real life example. And then I want you to think about your gift and scale it in the same way. Because whatever you do, there's three or four different ways at minimum to earn money from that skill or that gift or that passion. So the first thing I did is I wrote a book. I wrote a book. And I self-published the book. After I wrote the book, I said, okay, authors become speakers. So I became a speaker. I reached out to Bethune-Cookman University and I got invited to speak at one of their events. I spoke for a little bit and then I wrote, um, no, I didn't. I spoke for a little bit and then I signed books and sold books. Then after that, I was asked to write someone else's book. So I became a ghostwriter. And then after that, I was asked to teach somebody how to write a book. So I became an author consultant. Then after that, I was asked, hey, about the contents in my book. I got this question. Then I became a life coach. Then after that, I said, hey, I'm going to use social media And I'm going to share quotes and put the quotes out there. Okay, it's a lot of people now. So let me teach a group of people. I did group coaching, like a group course by telephone. Then after that, I did online courses to where instead of me being on the phone talking every week for an hour, I now record the course one time and put it online. That's stream number seven. Then after that, I did live seminars, my individual seminars, not just going to do other people's events as a speaker, but 
an event producer. And that probably could have came earlier, maybe. No, no, it didn't. It came after. So now that's stream number eight. That's eight streams of income. But what you have to realize is each one of those streams, they can break break down into multiple things. So I wrote a book. The book is one area. It's, it's a stream of income. But for every book you write, each book is like if you buy another house in real estate. Yes, real estate could be a means to earn money, but a person with one house is not as wealthy as a person with 10 houses. And so on average, and so the more homes you get, the more wealth you build. So with whatever your gift is, the more you do that, or the more of them you have, or the more of it you produce, the more wealth you can build. So one book were, was producing $600 a year. But then when I built my brand online, now that creates scale. And then I wrote book number two, book number three, book number four. I've written, I think, 17 books now. So if one book produces 600 a year, and then I write 10 books and they all are performing the same, now I'm at 6,000 a year. But some of the books are going to be a hit. Not every track you release is going to be a billboard topper. But if you get one, it's going to trickle down to the others and people are going to listen to your body of work. Same thing with anything you produce. If you get one hit, it's then going to help the other things you've done. So I got to a place to where I wrote a book and it sold over 20,000 copies as an independent author without doing paid marketing, without even really pushing it, just posting quotes online and then people Googling my name and buying the book. But when they buy book one, then they bought book two and they bought book three. And now one a person who supported me in one area now supported other areas. Then with the online courses, the same thing happened. I took the courses and I did several courses. So now majority of those courses is a course that I did to work one time. Some of those courses were live, but I did the work one time and then I sold the recording. So now I have over 55 courses. That's 55 streams of income technically because each course could reach a different audience, a different demographic, and each course stands on its own. Not every course does the same. And although it's in one area, they are still separate. So it's like I have 55 different homes. And now those homes, is they are considered digital real estate. So now, after that, I got online on YouTube. That's another stream of income. But the same thing with YouTube, every single video is another home. Each video makes its own money. So I looked last month and I had a video that made, I think, $1,800. So $1,800, that's some people's rent, it's some people's mortgage, it's some people's mortgage and car note, it's some people's family and three or four of their friends' phone bill, uh, or some, you know, them and three or four other people's phone bill could fit in that $1,800. But guess what? That video earned that $1,800 in 28 days but it'll continue to earn each month. And the beauty is I don't have to repair a roof. I don't have to evict a tenant. I don't have to find a tenant. So I have no repairs. I have no maintenance. I did the work once and it lives forever. The same thing with a book, the same thing with an online course, unless you do something that's, you know, based on current, things and you got to update it from time to time, but that's not hard. And so now at the same time, that creates generational wealth. Because if I'm teaching things that or doing something that's evergreen, 
Now my sons can repurpose the content. They can run ads to it. They can redo it. They can add something to it and collaborate with me. So they could take my book and say, hey, I'm going to expound upon this chapter. So now it's Tony Gaskins Jr., myself, with Tony Gaskins III and Tating Gaskins, or Tony Gaskins III with Tating Gaskins. And they add to my book and republish it. They take my course, which may have evergreen content like the Entrepreneurship with Purpose course, and they redo it. Y'all got to forgive me. I look like a, a I had my door open today. Aaron out my, my, from the pool. Look like a little gnat or something. Got to hit a mosquito or something. And so this is what I want you to think about. So you see how that happens? So when I say I got over 50 streams of income, I'm not talking about 50 different genres or 50 different arenas. I'm talking about 50 different assets. So 55 courses. 17 books, so almost 75 minus 3, that's 72 assets. That's 72 assets, and that's 72 things that can earn money. That's 72 streams of income, and the reason why I count it like that, some people say, no, that's two streams of income, books and courses. No, because each one of them produces its own money. And then, yes, you lump it all together for that thing, but they're different categories. They're different topics. So it's different. And the reason why I count it like that is because you want to think abundantly. That's why we don't just have $100 bills. We have $50 bills. We have $20 bills. We got $2 bills. We got $1 bills. We got dollar coins. We got... 50 cent pieces, 25 cent piece, dime, nickel, and penny because it breaks down and it creates abundance. So you can have a dollar, you can have a hundred pennies. It's just all in how you look at it. If you look at it as a dollar, you might be thinking scarcity minded. If you look at it like, wow, I got 100 pennies, that may create abundance, that may create an abundant mindset that may create gratitude and that may unlock your mind, get past those limiting beliefs and say, hey, I want more of this. So this is how I want you to think. And this literally, if your mind don't work like this, then this way you got to get you some coaching from a business coach like myself or somebody you meet and see how you could do this in your gift. But this can literally be done in every gift because here's what you can do. And this is what a lot of people don't understand. Don't just do what you do, also teach what you do. But in teaching what you do, understand that there's different mediums in which you can teach. So as I continue to go, I then created an app. So I created an app where I answered questions as a life coach in the app and I charged, I think it was $1.99 for the app. So that became another stream of income. Then I did t-shirts with a little slogan on it. That became another stream of income. I recently just did a card game. That's another stream of income. So, and then I, I'm doing another app. That's another stream of income. So I say that to say that in your area, you can break it down into multiple things. And then you can also help other people do what you do. So mymentor.life, that's a website. I promote coaches. I certify the coach, meaning I train the coach. Then the coach signs up on mymentor.life. The coach pays $20 a month or $200 for the year. I market the site. The coach gets booked. And then the coach keeps all of their money that they earn. That's another stream of income. But... We got 500 coaches. So at 500 coaches, each one of those people represent basically another a tenant. So it's almost like if I had 500 tenants, you come in, you come in. It's almost like if I had 500 tenants, but their rent is $20. So here it is. My mentor.life is the hotel. 
each of their pages is their room. Their rent is $20 a month. So now that breaks down into 500 tenants. So the bills for the site, the site cost me $200 a month. So if the site cost me $200 a month, that technically means I only need 10 people on the site to stay in business. And then from there, everything is, is profit. Same reason they tell you to buy a multifamily in case one person can't do it, you still could pay for it. So, hey, think about this. Queen just came in the room, so I need to go ahead and get on off of here and uh, hear what she talking about. And so listen to this, listen to this two, three times. I'm, I'm telling you, I just gave you a million dollars worth of game. Every, I'm trying to tell you every single thing. What I just told you, and I earned millions with that. So if you listen to this, you get this in your spirit, you slow it down, you listen to it two, three, four times, and you take it step by step. And if you don't understand it, you get your little extra help. And wife over there laughing about what? I do not know. So let me go. But see, a lot of times people think, oh, it's just 20 minutes. Man, ain't no way to worry. You give me a million dollars in 20 minutes. I just gave you a million dollars in 20 minutes. Listen to what I'm telling you now. Because I ain't telling you now a lie. Hey, God bless you. We'll talk soon.